there's no doubt that 2024 will be one of the most important and significant years of our lives. The results of this election, the actions leading up to it, to the candidates running, to those voting, to the ones trying to control the results, even the other countries around the world that are allying against us, that are watching and judging how we handle all of this. And most importantly, how 2024 itself will affect our lives moving forwards. Welcome back, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you stack silver and you like uncensored, unfiltered, and unbiased daily news, then you've come to the right place. We're going to be talking about something that will affect the price of silver as I am a silver stacking channel, giving you guys daily news. And since everything across the world geopolitically affects the price of silver, I cover all of this. This is breaking news. Came out two hours ago from Newsweek talking about the Supreme Court deciding on the Trump ballot ban. This is two hours ago, fresh off the press. The Supreme Court on Friday agreed to decide whether former President Donald Trump can be disqualified from appearing on Colorado's Republican primary ballot over his actions related to the January 6th, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. Let me give a disclaimer before moving forwards, because nowadays you have to say this type of stuff. I don't care if you are left, right, up, down, front, center, sideways, to the middle, even a little bit crooked. I don't care. I have to cover this because this stuff affects the precious metals markets. And since I give my audience the daily content, the updates of what's happening, I'm going to share it. And when I say subscribe, it's not for my sake, it's for your own, because I'm going to give you the truth, the unfiltered version, without my opinion on the news, only my opinion on what you should do, given the circumstances of what's happening in the news. There is a massive difference between that. I disconnect myself. So anyways, let's keep moving forwards. Last month, Colorado's Supreme Court disqualified from the state ballot on a Civil War era clause in the 14th Amendment that bars people who have taken an oath to support the Constitution from holding office if they engaged in insurrection or, and I quote, given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. And before we move forwards, I would love for you guys to throw in your opinions on this, what you think is going to happen, respectively, in the comment section. Remember, you and I, you and the other one commenting in this video, we're on the same team. We all stack precious metals, right? Okay, so just remember that. Now, a little over a week after Colorado's decision, Maine's Secretary of State barred Trump from the state's presidential primary ballot under the Constitution's insurrection clause. And I quote, we welcome a fair hearing at the Supreme Court to argue against the bad faith election interfering voter suppressing Democratic backed and Biden led 14th Amendment abusing decision to remove President Trump's name from the 2024 ballot in the state of Colorado, end quote. Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung said in a statement, Chung added, the so-called ballot challenge cases are all a part of a well-funded effort by left-wing political activists hell-bent on stopping the lawful re-election of President Trump this November, even if it means disenfranchising voters. President Trump is dominating the polls and the Biden presidency has failed all Americans. We are confident that the fair-minded Supreme Court will unanimously affirm the civil rights of the President Trump and the voting rights of all Americans in ruling that will squash all of the remaining ballot challenge hoaxes once and for all. Um, you know, that that's a lot. And, and I definitely feel like, uh, you know, I feel like... Uh, this won't play through. I feel like they're going to try to do this as a last-ditch effort. I don't think it will be successful. But regardless, at the end of the day, whether candidate A, B, or C wins the election, we are way too deep in the hole to fix anything. I personally think we have to have some type of reset. 
what does that look like? I don't know. There are several states bringing back the gold standard, which is a good start, even though I don't even know how that's going to be possible to the extent of fixing this. I feel like we are. there's no solution. There's only an alternative. That alternative is precious metals, but I'll just shut up about my two cents. Several other states are weighing challenges that seek to remove Trump from the 2024 primary ballot. But Trump has maintained that he did not engage in an insurrection, accusing those filing lawsuits against him of attempting to interfere with the election. Trump filed an appeal in state court to challenge last month's decision by Maine Secretary of State Shanna Bellows that would block him from the state's primary ballot. In a statement about her decision, Bellows accused Trump of encouraging violence among his supporters. And I quote, the record establishes that Mr. Trump over the course of several months and culminating on January 6th, used a false narrative of election fraud to inflame his supporters and direct them to the Capitol to prevent certification of the 2020 election and the peaceful transfer of power, Bellow said. She added, and I quote, I likewise conclude that Mr. Trump was aware of the likelihood for violence and at least initially supported it use given he both encouraged it with incendiary rhetoric and took no timely action to stop it. I'm not going to throw in my opinion on that. I'm just reading what it says. Um, and I also wanted to mention this as well. We have uh, <laughs> we have on our special right now, Miles Franklin, we have weekly specials for silver. And right now, this is one of our deals. Check this out. We have one ounce silver Trump bars, which is the epic mugshot also saying Trump wanted for president design 315 over spot. But not just that, we have the one ounce Noah's art coins, only 349 over spot. And last but not least, if you like gold, we also have fourth ounce gold eagles for only $65 over melt. Just email me slayer at milesfranklin.com. I'll get you guys hooked up. Now, this is another article that came out yesterday, possibly two days ago, depending on when I upload this video. But it's talking about Donald Trump's presidential candidacy challenged in Illinois for the 2024 elections saying five people working with a voting rights organization filed an objection, making Illinois the 18th state challenging Trump over his ties to the 2021 insurrection. I chose this one since the last one I just showed came out two hours ago. This one g dives a little deeper into why. Now, it's a filing obtained exclusively by WBEZ, and Chicago Sun-Times. The objectors want the state board of elections to disqualify Trump as a presidential candidate in the March 19th primary and November 5th general elections. So they argue that he violated this because uh, he, was, he was encouraging rioters to swarm the Capitol, right? Well, the state election board has openly questioned its authority to invoke this type of clause as a basis to sack a presidential candidate. The agency has suggested the dispute is one that Illinois courts or its legislature needs to resolve. But the objector said they believe that the state elections board has legal standings to take on this question, though their arguments ultimately make land in court of law similar disputes in other states involving Trump already have. So those arguing against Trump's eligibility are part of what their lawyers say is a diverse group of voters from Chicago. Um, so we're not engaging in politics here. We're engaging in the application of constitutional principles. Okay, that's a, I mean, you could, you could twist anything how you want it, I guess, but the law must be obeyed. And if lawyers aren't obeyed, you lose your constitutional democracy. It's really just that simple, said Pierce the one-time deputy corporation counsel from under or from former uh, Harold Washington. The group's complaint was filed after Trump's campaign tendered signatures with the State Board of Elections on the first day that major party presidential candidates can submit papers to be on the March primary ballot. Lawsuits seeking to block Trump from the ballot because of the, the insurrection provision in the U.S. Constitution are pending in 15 other states, according to, law, to, to Lawfare, a nonpartisan, nonprofit law and policy analysis publication tracking litigation targeting Trump's candidacy. 
as a Democratic-led state, Illinois could be politically hospitable legal venue for a similar challenge. If the State Board of Election sidesteps the question, the dispute could move into a state court system governed by Illinois Supreme Court where Democrats hold a 5-2 majority. Trump's campaign ridiculed by the objection in a statement to WBEZ calling the Illinois objection and other 14th Amendment challenges spurious. These shams are all part of a coordinated election interference. I mean, of course, like, what, what else would it be? Campaign designed to disenfranchise millions of American voters by depriving them of the right to vote. I mean, that is true. It's like, it's supposed to be everyone voting. Every citizen votes for who they want. How could you ban, you're, you're telling people, nope, I don't care what you vote, I, I don't care. You can't vote because of something he did. It doesn't even matter what you want or who you vote for. Nope, your vote doesn't matter because he did something. That's, that's, that, it should be illegal. That, that shouldn't even be a thing. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that's possible. And here is, we have something that was posted yesterday. Look at this. Look at this. This is an actual document that we're looking at. We, we see the stamp right here, January 4th, 2024, 8.44 a.m. I mean, and this is an 87, one, page one of 87. I'm showing all of it right here, folks. 87 pages. At the core of the challenge to Trump is language contained within Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, ratified in 1868 after the Civil War, which, speaking of civil wars, that might be what we're looking at next. So legal scholars believe the 14th Amendment has wiggle room for the U.S. Supreme Court to stop short of disqualifying Trump, but advocates of the Illinois challenge say Trump's conduct before and during the assault of the Capitol leaves little room for debate. The facts are hard to dispute. There was an insurrection. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, you guys know they're just going to keep repeating the same stuff. This guy agrees. He thinks that he did push this. Or, or try to sway people to do this, and then other sides say no, and then they say, we don't know, well, there is wiggle room, there's not wiggle room, they can do this, they can't do this, this is right, this is wrong, yada, yada, we already know. So I just want to leave the question up to you, and I wanted to give you guys the breaking news um, about this that dropped two hours ago as well, because you guys know I will always give you the newest, latest, freshest, most up-to-date recent information in the world of not only precious metals, but world of the world, <laughs> you know, in, in the world of anything that happens politically, economically, fundamentally, environmentally, um, we're, when we're talking about markets or prices, I'm going to cover it all. It's your one-stop shop, truly is. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This was Silver Slayer. Have a nice night. Peace.